developments in the death of One Direction singer Liam Payne. Three people have been charged in Argentina. Eva Pilgrim, here are the details. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. Family, friends, and investigators still have a lot of questions about what was going on in the days and hours before Liam Payne died. This morning, they're getting some answers. All my life stood by me. This morning, three people now facing charges related to the death of former One Direction singer Liam Payne. Officials charged a hotel employee, a drug supplier, and one of Payne's friends. According to prosecutors, one hotel employee is accused of supplying Payne with cocaine twice during his hotel stay. Another person accused of supplying drugs to the singer twice during his time in Argentina. Tina. And the third prosecutor say was with the pop star every day while he was in Buenos Aires is charged with abandoning a person following death. The pop star fell from the third floor balcony of his hotel room in Argentina last month. A toxicology report showing pain had alcohol, cocaine and a prescription antidepressant in his system. Prosecutors ruling out self-harm of any kind, stating the singer was not fully conscious or was experiencing a state of noticeable decrease or loss of consciousness at the time of the fall. The story of my life. The arrests come after sources tell ABC News nine raids were conducted earlier this week, which included the homes of two hotel employees, two escorts, and one of the singer's friends. Authorities seizing potential evidence including cell phones, marijuana, one hard drive, and three laptops. Payne's father leaving Argentina Wednesday, flying back to the UK with his son's body. And this has been what you can only imagine was an excruciating process for Payne's father to bring his son home. The family now preparing for his funeral, guys. Mm. Just uh, something no family should have to or wants to go through, Eva. Thank you.